Coach Prime has Colorado fans thinking anything is possible. Dion doesn't change programs, he changes lives. Be advised, my OnlyFans is now 20% off. Weirdos are going to come after y'all. Oh, no. Never. Oh, never. What's up, everyone? Strap in because we're about to hit you with a take so powerful, it's going to blow your mind and change the game. In the latest chapter of How to Make Haters Go Wild, We've got a juicy one coming out of Boulder, Colorado. Now, unless you've been living under a rock or just ignoring all the haters like Coach Prime has been teaching us, you might have missed Coach Sapp's recent quote that's making the rounds. Let me set the stage for you. Coach Sapp, the man molding Colorado's D-line into a fearsome force, was asked about which player stood out the most in the room. You'd expect the usual coach talk, something along the lines of, Everyone's doing great hard work, dedication, yada, yada, yada. But no, not Coach Sapp. The man had to spice things up. I wouldn't single out one guy because we're a pack. We got bullets. You get shot with a 38 or a 9 millimeter, you pick. Who in your room specifically, individually, has stood out the most to you? I wouldn't single out one guy because we're a pack. You know, my five, my five ends on a two-lane highway. That's, that's nice and good. And then what we, the, the last two tackles with Buell and... Uh, the young fella will be six deep, you know, because Shane and uh, big boy, Nani Deuce, <laughs> Barnes, and then we got Kadoji in there, and then working with Buell, and then one more. Who am I forgetting? TC and the other kid. Yeah, I mean, we we just mixing and matching them. We got bullets. You get shot with a 38 or a 9 millimeter, you pick it. <laughs> now, let me pause for the reaction. FBI, open up! You know the haters are already firing up their keyboards ready to start their next round of why Colorado is the downfall of college football. But let's be real for a second. This was a metaphor, people. You know, a figure of speech, for example. When someone says he's a beast on the field, no one's out here calling animal control. Coach Sapp was saying that his D-line is loaded with talent. He's got options. You will feel the impact on the field, whether it's a 38 or a nine millimeter. But of course, in today's world, you can't drop a colorful metaphor without someone clutching their pearls and calling it problematic. I can see it now. Colorado's gun culture is out of control. Is Coach Sapp teaching players to pack heat? The headlines practically write themselves. But hold up, let's not rewrite the script into some grand theft auto saga. Last I checked, the Colorado Buffaloes were focused on tackling opponents, not reenacting scenes from a video game. The only shots fired are the ones coming from Shedder Sanders' cannon of an arm on game day. So, before the haters start spinning this into something, it's not, let's take a deep breath and relax. No one's promoting a gun culture in Colorado. The only things being loaded in Boulder are the practice schedules, the game plans, and the skill sets of some seriously talented athletes. And hey, in case anyone's still missing the point, here's a little PSA. These are just jokes, people. No one's talking about actual shooting, okay? It's just a figure of speech, so there's nothing to see here. There's no need to go inventing any fake stories about a gun culture that doesn't exist in Colorado. Now, haters, you can keep doing what you do best, but remember... This was all just in good fun. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Go SCO buffs. Haters gonna hate. Colorado pride, we rise, let's go. With the strength of a buffalo, we flow. Wake up with the dawn, time to train. Feel the mountain air, power through the pain. Every rep, every step we gain. Buffalo spirit running through our veins. Push it to the 